Hi there, thanks for joining me. Today, um, some of you have been asking what my My Digital Studio online classroom is going to look like, so I thought I'd shoot a video to give you an example of some of the tips or tricks or projects that we would do. And this monogrammed letter is one of them. So I want to teach you how to import these photos into the punch. Now, before we can actually make this project, what you need to do is you need to select your photos and get them into the My Digital Studio program. Now, I am using a Mac. The process is very similar on a PC. Um, and if you have any specific questions, just email me, but it's pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to my Finder. And what I need to do, and again, on, a, um, on your computer, it would be exactly the same. Uh, okay, so here we go. So what I need to do is I need to go into Applications, and I need to find the My Digital Studio program. So same thing in Windows, just go find where your My Digital Studio is. I'm going to double click on that. And then there's this fo um, folder here called Components. So what I'm going to do is go into Components. And then you want to select your backgrounds. So this is where I'm going to put my pictures so I have them. I can fill basically like I can fill anything with designer series paper. A punch, the background of your paper. Um, you just have that option and this is where you're going to put your photos. So double click on backgrounds. And then for no particular reason, I just put it under DSP, the designer series paper. So again, I'm just going to double click here. And you'll see that I created this folder right here called photos. If you need to import a new um, folder, you just come up here to file and say new folder. And then I labeled it photos. And then I just clicked and dragged all my pictures into here that I wanted to use on this project of Emma. So you can see them here. So once I've done that, I've created these file, um, these photos into files that are now accessible by My Digital Studio program. So it's very quick and very easy. Now, let's actually talk about how to create this. So here's my colored version. And then I also did a black and white version. Pretty cute, hey? So I can just print this off, put it in a frame, and it's super sweet. But I actually think I'm going to put it on her door for her. So let's start here. We're going to go to add a page. We're going to go to a blank page. And now we need to get our punch. So I'm going to use the simple, sorry, the timeless type junior letters. I'm going to select my E for Emma. And now I'm going to make my punch as big or as little as you want it. The hardest part to this project is actually figuring out which photos you want to use and where they go. So here's my E. Now I need to paper fill it. So I'm going to come on over here to paper fill. And you can see here, here's all my, here's my designer kits and all of my different types of papers that I have in my program. And if I scroll down to the bottom of my papers, oops, you'll see this file named photos right here. And you can see here, these are all the pictures of Emma that I imported. They look a little bit granulated or pixelated here, but it's going to be fine in the program. So I'm going to collect this picture here of Emma and hit OK. And now you can see that it took that photo and you can see that it's crisp and put the whole thing in the letter E. I don't want that. I want it to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to double click on my punch and come down here to the zoom. And as I shrink Emma, I can also click and drag and move this photo around. So let's say I want it to be a little bit smaller and this is where I want the picture to be. Something worth noting is you want to try and make sure your corners of your photos line up. They don't have to line up, but they need to at least go past the edge of the punch so that you end up with um, photos filling up the whole entire letter E. So I'm going to say, OK, I like this. And now what happens, you can see, is the photo is just here, but you're missing the rest of your E. So we're going to keep importing pictures, but not into the same punch. We need to come up here to Edit copy and then I'm going to say edit but I want to go to paste in place I want it to be exactly in the same location so I come to paste in place and now I have two E's right on top of each other that look identical but let's paper fill it with something else so I'm going to come here and we'll get another picture of Emma hit OK now I'm going to double click on my E again change my zoom move my photo and hit OK. So you can see here how I'm starting to build the E 
and how I'm starting to put things together. So again, I'll do it one more time here for you just so you can see it. We're going to go to Edit, Paste in Place, because you've already copied it. So here comes another E. We're going to paper fill it with a different photo. Say OK. Double click. Zoom in or zoom out of your photo. Click and drag it to where you want to be. Say OK. And now you can see again that my E is starting to form. Now you will notice that this photo is cutting off Emma's face that I don't like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this punch, the one of the three, to the back. So I can do that up here. Sorry, in my um, send to back. And now you can see that, you know, I've got nice three pictures of Emma. So the layering does take a little bit of work when you're filling in a punch using multiple, multiple photos. So you want to play around with it and have an idea where you want your photos to be for your finished product. Tall pictures fill in spaces like this easy, easily. Wide photos fill in your um, horizontal planes very easily. And then when I was all done, so let's just do one more. Edit, paste in place. I'm just going to throw in one more photo here of Emma, and I'm not going to play around with it. What we're going to do here is I'm just going to send it to the back. On my very last picture that I had sent to the back, I put a mat on that photo, change it to the fore, I dropped a shadow, and voila, you have a really cute, very personalized frame artwork for your kids. So I can't wait to do one for all my kids, but and I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to use punches and filling it with multiple photos. And again, check out my website, stampwithheather.ca, if you're interested in learning more about digital scrapbooking and taking an online class. Have a wonderful day, and thanks so much for stopping by.